Hey up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to Surya Being Hunted. This is episode 189 now. So, do you remember in the last episode, I uh, didn't do very well. I had a bit of a dynamite challenge fail going on there. But uh, we're back, of course, as promised. Now, this isn't the, um, well, this isn't the thingy bobber, the uh, re-attempt at the dynamite challenge that I promised. I would do, don't worry, I will do that. This is actually just a quick challenge that was uh, suggested very recently to me by Blake Burke. This is called the Michael Myers challenge which I think may be a reference that I don't quite understand. But basically, the gist of this challenge is really simple. I basically have 20 minutes to kill as many robots as possible using the hatchet. And I already hear some of them on the move. I'm just going to move out of the way very quickly. The uh, challenge will be starting in just under a minute. So as like I say, 20 minutes to kill as many robots as possible using a hatchet. Um, so, you know, Blake Burt, you'll have to explain to me why it's called the Michael Myers Challenge. I don't actually know understand the reference but yes yeah, so very simple rules there's a guy over there who's just about to see me he hasn't seen me thank god so yes just under 30 seconds now and then the challenge will begin so as usual it's the same scoring system as it was in the last challenge there's a freaking uh, dog after me i do think which is not ideal 10 more seconds and the challenge begins some people might think i'm kind of cheating a bit here but um no, it's fine. Okay, we're in a sort of safe-ish location. So, challenge has started just now. I just looked at my clock then. <laughs> Literally just as it turned to half four. So, 20 minutes from now to basically take out as many robots as possible with the axe. So, I'll quickly reiterate the scoring system whilst that dog is moving around doing its own thing. Basically, hunters and hounds, one point if I uh, kill those. Two points for the squires, three for the poachers, four for the scarecrows, uh, five for the riders. Though, let's be honest, realistically, there is no chance of me successfully killing a fucking rider with just a hatchet. Okay, well, there's a scarecrow right over here, straight off the bat. So we could probably, provided there are no enemies close by, actually take this douche out. I don't hear any other robots, so this could work. If we're quick, come on, smack him. Okay, I do hear a squire, which is not ideal. I can never remember how... Oh, there we go. Right, first hit. He's down. Okay, let's take his uh, pumpkin. I can always have that. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading his book. Okay, I'm just going to add four points to my tally. There we go. Ooh. I hear you, you bastard. But actually, let's have a look at what the book actually was. What was this? The Duke of Numbers. It pained the old clerk to think back to that time when he worked on the estate. He would rather leave memories of that night buried, just as he had buried his lord and master in the black peat of, peat of his ornamental garden. Oh dear, that sounds like someone has actually uh, committed murder in this story. Oh god, the... Jeez, those friggin' robots in the background just keeping an eye on. The Duke had always had an obsession with how a mechanical mind could be made to think, and it would not think in words and fleeting images like a man, but in numbers. Algebra, Jeremiah, the Duke would say. That is the brain blood of the new age. But the Duke would be too intimately acquainted with the brain blood of the current age to ever see such a thing come to pass. The old clerk, on the other hand, had seen the horror uncoil. Ah. I've never seen that book before. It's actually just as well that I did read it. Okay, there's those guys over there. Was there a squire over in this direction? We could get an extra two points if I do my little uh, squire murder trick where I uh, go around him. Alyssa Umbridge. No tourists, everybody. There's living ravens over here. Okay. It's funny how I disturb the birds whenever I go near them, yet he doesn't. Even though he's walking right in, in their midst, pretty much. Okay, wait for it. Come on. Go, keep going around to the circle. God, you only fired two shots there. You're already reloaded. Got him. There we go. Squire is down. We will take his uh, revolver, actually, whilst I'm here. So, two more points. We're up to six so far. That's good. You'll probably just hear me uh, messing around with my pen and paper. Actually making a tally. That way it avoids me having to, you know, do the same old thing that I used to do in flipping um, robot slaying challenges, you know? Remember those? Where I would uh, actually have to uh, re-watch the whole video back when putting it together in my video editing software and actually edit in some proper uh, text at the top corner of the screen. Okay, right. So, it's two robots down so far. Ooh, I see you over there. What are you up to? What you up to, you git? You on your own? Hmm. I wonder if I could sneak up on you. Because you are just sort of stood there. 
not really doing anything. I mean, granted, you are only going to give me one point if I take you out, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> oh, he has no idea. Wow. Do you seriously not even feel that behind you? No, come on. Mints, I'll eat them. Okay, one more point. Seven points there. Doing well so far. Okay. What's over there? Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. A sip of water whilst I'm at it. Hmm. Just hope they don't have a dog with them. I mean, I don't hear a dog, so we might be okay. Okay, you are actually facing in this direction. So I should probably take out your buddy first. Before taking on you. I can just hear, you know, poachers in the background. Got that rider. Okay, actually this might be very dangerous. That rider is way too close for comfort. Oh no you don't, you bitch. You just stay over there, mate. Okay, they're going to be back on their patrol, actually. Yeah, let's just get the hell out. Mm. No! Oh, that was dangerous. I've got another squire who's just spawned over there. Got that rider, what is he doing? See, I'm a lot more on edge. I'm being a lot more careful than I was freaking, you know, in the last challenge. You just stay over there, mate. I'm telling you now, there is realistically no way I'm going to be able to take out a rider with a hatchet. <laughs> Don't know why I really even bothered giving, you know, an actual score to them. Okay, it looks like... Oh no, the ravens look like they've come back. I think I could take out this squire before the... Uh, without the rider hearing. Possibly. <laughs> Don't mind the birds, mate. Oh. I can still hear him in the background, which is getting me worried. Oh. It's getting closer. Okay, that's another squire out. Taking out two, quick. Two more points. Nine points overall. Oh, he's got to have heard those gunshots, surely. Oh, no, he's, he's over there. What's he doing? He's just sort of hanging around. Okay. He might be alright. Oh, he's so close. Okay, get a bit of extra revolver ammo. That way we have got at least a gun that we can use to defend ourselves from that friggin' rider if uh, things turn, you know, take a turn for the worst. Where are you? What are you up to? Okay, let's head off in this direction. I wonder if we could take out a poacher or something. It'll give me three points, if I can. Okay, oh my god, it's about three riders over there. There's less than ideal, that is. Okay. Any of you poacher buggers around? Hmm? What are you up to? At the moment I've just been sort of, uh, you know, massacring squires. Well, apparently, you know, now the definition for a massacre is only two victims. It's not really a massacre, is it? But you know what I mean. Where are you, poacher? Ah, there you are. I see you. I see you. Oh. I wonder. Can we sneak up behind him? get him. It's possible. Oh, we might actually be able to do it. If we're sneaky enough. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. And... Oh god, missed him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> awesome. That's another friggin' robot down. So how many points was that? That's uh, three. So, one, three, uh, twelve points. Nice. I've also got the uh, blunderbuss now, so I've got that extra weapon that I can use if need be. Okay, back on the move again. Did I say, did I back on the move? Back on the move, even is what I meant to say. Okay, onward to victory. I think we've still got about uh, 12 more minutes in this challenge, so we're approaching the halfway point, but uh, not just yet. Another two minutes or so, roughly. There's another poacher somewhere in there. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Did I just... Yeah, I hear the landowner. I see the poacher. He's over there. 
where's the landowner? That's the question. Doesn't sound immediately close, but Ooh, we have to be careful here. Have to be extremely careful. Is he getting further and further away? Mm, I don't know. Oh, who? Who or what did you see? He went into alert status there. Oh no, no, I think he's shooting at someone else. Who? What's he up to? Where is he? He's not seriously attacking the uh, thingy bobber, is he? What are you doing down there, mate? Who are you shooting at? Oh. Well, there's the landowner. Okay, now he's just buggering off, it seems. Okay. Well, someone else is having a shoot at. I can hear him. Oh. Oh, he's, he's on the move. Where is he going? What is he up to? Oh. Okay, he just fired. The hell? He's not seriously trying to take out the landowner, is he? <laughs> he's a flipping idiot if he is. <laughs> that freaking landowner is practically invincible. You're not going to kill him, mate, if that's what you're actually trying to do. Okay. How very, very strange. Uh, right. Oh, you're moving. Freaking dog bastards. Oh, God. It's a tree stump. I was wondering what that was then. Landowner is still over there, which is not ideal. If it wasn't for his presence there, I could try taking out the squire, but... Okay, someone else is having a shootout now. Not good. Scarecrow in that field there. Hmm. But the dogs are still nearby. Oh. Is there somebody having a shootout over here near this device piece? Any survivors, maybe? Oh god, no, that's a lot of robots there. There's no way I'm going to be able to take all them out with a freaking hatchet. Okay, I've just realised we have passed the halfway point of the challenge now. 12 points so far. Not brilliant, but not bad either. Okay. Landowner's still over there. Hmm. Got to be so careful, because obviously, you know, I've maxed out the robot spawn setting, so you're going to get them in large numbers. And especially, you know, some pretty powerful enemies in uh, this general kind of vicinity of each other. Okay, that rider's there on his own. Hmm. This hunter's moving away. Oh, this is, um... It's a little bit tricky, this. You see, what I ideally want is maybe for the landowner to move away from that scarecrow. Because I could try taking the scarecrow out. But having said that, he's now gone into the field where that scarecrow actually is. So that's not going to happen, is it? Okay, never mind. I'm kind of uh, parping around here. Parping around a bit aimlessly. I should probably maybe just move to another location and start planning out a different approach. That could work, you know. Okay, eight more minutes for the challenge. Obviously, 12... Uh, not 12. 20 minutes, obviously, is an only short... Okay, now they're moving again. What are they doing? Oi, you. Come here. I'm going to run up behind you and I'm going to smack you with me. Oh, shit. No, there's a lot of them. Never mind. <laughs> that did not go as planned. My vitality is going down as well. This might actually be a very, very bad idea. Okay, screw it. I'm going to go to another island. Oh, shit. Stuck on a rock. Hello, sea beast. If I could kill you with a hatchet, I would. Oh, they're shooting like crazy. Which is not ideal. Yeah, I know that. Can I take the boat north, please? <laughs> okay, we're heading to the North Island, it seems. Let's just get the hell guy whilst his back was turned, but then I saw that there were about three others. Hmm. Just spat all over my screen there. Okay. All right, so we're on another island. This is a rural biome, like the centre. I didn't actually change the uh, island biomes settings, so, yeah. They're pretty much, you know, completely random. Computer choice. Okay, there's uh, hunters, squires over there. Maybe I could take some of those guys out. Hmm. First and foremost, though, I should uh, get some vitality in my system. I've also got this fine piece of game, which I'm probably not going to cook, so I'm just going to discard that for now. Okay, here I am, drunk as always. 
So maybe I could take out these hunters and take out the squire as well. I'm just wondering which would be the more dangerous one, though. Oh god, there's a rider, I hear him. Sheet. Sheat. Just as I'm planning it out, he shows up. That's not ideal, is it? It's actually quite hard, you know, planning your approaches when all, you know, the only weapon you can use is an axe. That does make things rather difficult, doesn't it? There's another rider there. There's riders everywhere. What's going on? Oh god, am I heading towards a patrol? Shit. Oh shit, I'm going down the cliff. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Just another six minutes and the challenge is over. God, I've only got 12 points. This is not bad. At least I've got more than 10 so far, but come on, surely I, just, you know, one more enemy I can take out. Oh god damn it. What are you doing over there, seriously? So I'm, I'm, I know what you, you're all dying for me to do, and I'm not doing it. I am not going to try taking on a rider with just an axe. It's not going to work. It will go very, very badly for me if I try that. Okay, he's moving off over there. Could there be any scarecrows knocking around? Because that would be ideal if there were. Doth anyone seeth any scarecrows? Okay, now you seem to be coming back in this direction. Well, I don't see any scarecrows in this area. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, what are you doing? No, you bastard. <laughs> Stay down. You're way too close for comfort, you are. You get way too close for comfort. So, are you moving off again? Hmm. Oh, damn it. Less than five minutes to go. I don't just want to charge in, you know, aggressively. That's usually the number one recipe for dying and failing. But, um... Urgh! Nearly just another four minutes. Oh, boy. Okay, is there anyone in this thicket? Maybe a poacher or somebody? Can't hear any bleeping. I do see traps, though. Which suggests that there is a poacher somewhere. Unless those have just randomly spawned, but I don't think they just do that, do they? Who's around here? Ooh! Hello! Oh, God damn it! there's friggin' hunters over there. They're coming in this direction. Okay, back off. Back off, back off, back off. Because they've been alerted by that scarecrow. Okay, I hope the scarecrows don't friggin' recharge health when they switch off. Okay. If we just wait for those hunters to move off, uh, move off out of the area. Hmm. God, I can see a poacher very vaguely off in the distance over there. There he is. Look at him. Bugger. <laughs> okay. Is that scarecrow still in there? Can the hunters please move aside? That would be very, very helpful. Ideally. Unless I can sneak up behind one of them and just, you know, give him a good whack. Take him out. Seems to be that lone hunter up there. What's he doing? Very peculiar. Now I can hear the poacher as well. Okay, he's just going to stand up there. I think he's on his own. Which... Is very strange. He doesn't seem to be moving. Is he just stuck on something? Or is he just in one of his kind of uh, idle modes? Hmm. How can I do this? Fuck it. Go for it. Come. Go. Got him. Right. Po uh, not poacher. Scarecrow out. One, two, three, four. Okay, 16 points. Okay. I think that hunter is stuck on something, because he just doesn't seem to be moving. I'm not sure. Oh, oh no, he's moving. Oh, don't come towards me, mate. Don't do that. It's a bit of a bitch move, really. Maybe I could just, you know, sit around over here. Okay, two minutes. And then the uh, flipping countdown for this challenge is up. The 20 minutes. Got there's about two poachers over there. And a lot of hunters. Which is uh, potentially fairly dangerous. Okay, you're going to stand there. 
God, you've got a friend. That's not ideal. You've got uh, company. Mm, this could be too dangerous. Just uh, sit over here and wait for them to go. Where we're nice and hidden by all these uh, all these uh, wheat plants. Uh, right. Oh God. Another one minute and ten seconds, everybody. And then that's it. Challenge up. Where are you? Hello? Hmm. Hunter's over there. I say. Hmm. <laughs> one more minute, everybody. One more minute and the challenge is up. At least I got that with the scarecrow, though. That means I'm on 16 points now. Which is pretty damn good. Well, it's probably not the best I could have done, but... You know, yeah, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. See you guys over there, you buggers. Hmm. Oi, come over here. I'm over here. I don't know why I just thought to do that. There's a freaking rider coming. Ah, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to shoot and just bring the hunter out and maybe the poacher as well. But no, not the rider. I don't want fucking riders. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to score any more points. There's literally 20 more seconds. And then that's it. Challenge is up. So tell you what, I'm going to retreat to a safe direction over here. And I will wait for the challenge round, uh, round time to end. Ten more seconds, everybody. Then we'll wrap the challenge up. So, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. And uh, I, I, for a second I thought, I thought my alarm clock was going to go off then, but evidently not. It didn't. Which is a little strange, but never mind. <laughs> okay. That's a bit weird that it didn't actually go off, but whatever. Seriously, it, 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 I don't, it, sorry, I, I'm getting distracted by my alarm clock. I'm using an alarm clock that's a bit old. It's probably a bit faulty as well. So yes, well that's it everybody. The uh, challenge time is now up. There's nothing else for us to do other than to round off here. So 16 points in the Michael Myers challenge. Killing off robots, as many as possible, using just an axe. Like I said, I maxed out the robot setting, so it was going to be quite tough, you know, to begin with, this was. But yeah, 16's not bad, you know. It's more than 10, it's more than 15. <laughs> so, you know, at least I got into double digits. That's all. So, yes, thank you to Blake Burke for suggesting that challenge to me. Just thought I'd do this one, you know, because it's a short challenge. I can get it, you know, recorded and done fairly quickly. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that, everybody. If you're not doing so already, you can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter pages. The links, of course, are in the video description, as always. You can go and sign up to those to uh, stay up to date with my video uploads. It's a good way of doing so if you don't have a YouTube account. But, yes... Other than that, hope you'll join me for episode 190 of So You're Being Hunted. We're slowly getting closer and closer to episode 200. I don't know what I'll do for the 200th episode, actually. I might... I don't know. I may, I may do something special. I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll see. Who knows? <laughs> so uh, keep your challenge suggestions incoming, as usual. And in the meantime, this is General Reds uh, signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, got him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh! No, no, go! Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 this area is horrible. <laughs> oh my god, I've been shot to fucking pieces! Ah! Oh my. What the fuck? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit! Whoa, Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell, that did like a million damage! This better not be a. Whoa! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many? What?